Good morning, hello, welcome to the Triathlon Dan YouTube channel. Welcome to another day of triathlon training. I've been for a swim this morning. Um, I've been feeling pretty good about my swimming recently. A bit sm like smug, to be honest, about how well it's been going versus how little I've trained, obviously, the last few months, like everybody else. But this morning, I've done three times 100 meter intervals and they absolutely finished me off. They were all, I think, what, two were 140 and one was 141. But after that, I felt like I was swimming through absolute treacle, could hardly move. But there you go, so I've done 1K in total. So that's half the amount of distance I've been doing like, every other time I've been. But I felt like I couldn't move my arms. Maybe if I'd have sat around five or ten minutes, I might have been all right for a bit. But um, I've got stuff to do. Got to go put some fuel in the car. Got to go get breakfast because today I've actually got a commute because I'm meeting up with the work crew and actually talking to people face to face. So I'm really actually looking forward to that. It is meaning that I'm going to miss my lunchtime run. However, whatever, like, you know, it's not the end of the world. Um, I've done enough running this week already. Uh, so you'll see behind me this massive car park at the pool. It's huge. So, of course, of course, what's happened? I mean, what on earth? Yeah, see my frame. I'm going to struggle to get in there. Um, a few people have asked uh, what happened to the new car that uh, we bought a few weeks ago. Uh, what's this car, etc. I'll cover it again in a separate video. Long story short, I've still got the other car. We had just couldn't last with two cars any longer than about two weeks apparently. So um, yeah, could, yeah, you know what it's like when you're in a relationship. One less fallout is a uh, you, you'll, 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 you'll take it regardless of the cost. So that's what uh, that's what happened. But anyway, I'll cover it in a bit more detail because I think it's quite a cool story about this car. Anyway, I'll see you later for don't know. Good evening. Now. I know I went for a swim this morning, but I can't remember what I said on the video. So we'll pick up from where we left off. Um, yeah, I went to a... Uh, what my nose. <laughs> went to meet my, my team today, see people in real life. They still exist. We walked four and a half miles as well, so that was good. Um, I saw a bottom bracket. I've changed my rear skewer because sometimes my bike creaks when the rear skewer either isn't tight enough or is too tight or isn't greased up, whatever. But it's still creaking when I'm out of the saddle. Exactly the same noise. So I'm wondering if it's the wheel. These wheels are about ready for changing anyway. The brake track's really worn out, so that could be it. But anyway, riding out to the club ride tonight. It's gonna be about 28, 30 miles. Pretty hard as per normal. I think it's about 3,000 feet of climbing. So I'm gonna, there we go with that. So I'm gonna stick the camera on the bike. And we'll watch some of the pain. I'm gonna put it on the front of my bike because that's where people will be this evening, not behind me. <sighs> anyway, this in, so, in terms of training, this is like my VO2 max session, so let's get in that red zone. All right, ride done and dusted. I'll go through a bit of footage and some climbing and some pain in a minute, but um, Liz is here and she's awake, so I thought I'd make the most of it and actually talk to her while she's awake. Hi, Liz. Hi. Everybody wants to know where you've been the last few days? I've had a bad cold. Yeah, when I say everybody, literally nobody's <laughs> asked, so... <laughs> I've had a bad cold, so this morning I went for my first run um, in six days. So that was my first bit of exercise in six days this morning. Bad cold, whatever. Still not 100%, but I'm feeling a lot better. You did four and a bit miles today, didn't you? Yeah. Good, well, ease yourself back into it. What are you doing right now? Just making a route for tomorrow evening to get out for a little spin on the bike. Mm -hmm. And what's that in that bowl next year? <laughs> popcorn. That's okay for a snack, isn't it? Popcorn. It's yeah. alright. So, if I'm honest, when um, I went to the shop, I don't know, a couple of days ago, uh, it's one of my, well, my main vice in life is Pepsi Max Cherry. So, I go and get a little pack of 28 cans, don't I, Liz, from the shop. Anyway, um, I struggle with the habit of walking out of the shop without any, like, sweets or, you know, bad food. So, I was walking around and I felt that urge, but I managed to divert myself over to the popcorn. This was, what, two days ago? I haven't actually ate it, so that shows that I don't actually need something when I go to the shop. I'm just, like, in the habit of picking something up. But if it means I pick something up that I don't actually eat, then fine, whatever. I'll just spend a quid on a bag of popcorn. Eating, so. Yeah, but popcorn's okay. Um, the cat is forgetting that chickens are food, not friends. Uh, no, sorry, all the way around. Yeah. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> See, he's got, he's got the same problem I have. Anyway, let's have a quick look at uh, tonight's ride, because... Um, a bit of mixed emotions about it. Let's get stuck in. Okay, let's jump into it. So the club ride starts with, you know, some nice rolling hills, some downhills as well, in fact, it's a nice treat. So we just spin through the lanes, and this is, this is why I love Derbyshire. It's absolutely awesome. Hardly any traffic on the quiet roads, and you just whiz through absolutely brilliantly. Yeah, I love it. I think there was only seven of us out tonight, so we can ride in groups, so it's 15, but there's only seven of us out in the first group, so that was good. Uh, some of the cyclists coming the other way. I think these are from Bowlsover, so hi to Bowlsover. Now, this is the first little kicker. Now, I knew this climb. I knew it was very short, and I'm following Chris, who's got a quite a good little... Like, him and his bike are 62 kilos, and he's pretty punchy. So, you see here, he attacks, and I think, yes, here we go. Wham, bam. Thanks for coming. I'll go straight past him. 900 and something watts, and I'm not closing that gap. Unbelievable. Still over 900 watts. Still not closing the gap. He's pushing a big gear. I'm spinning a bit more, I think, but I'm still giving it everything. 
800 and something watts, still not closing that gap. That is unreal. The guy's a great rider. He's on some great form at the minute. I actually hit a five second power PB for the year of like 910 watts or something. And that was 10 seconds as well. Brilliant. Um, now here, I think this uh, this climb is quite gradual. So I had a bit of momentum, but I didn't dare just pull to the front of the group. You see Dean there, has flew, flown past. You brace yourself, give yourself like two or three seconds and you know what's going to happen. I know like, now I'm going to have to dig in because Dean's carried some speed and not slowed down the front of the group. So for us to try and close that gap or hang on to him, the person at the front has put a surge in and of course that just, you know, um, sort of goes down the line. So I'm sat here at nearly 500 watts, just trying to hold the wheel. I know that if I get up to 550-ish, that's sort of like one minute power for me. So uh, I know this climb goes on for longer than a minute, so I just cannot go that hard. Um, so I settle into a tempo about 420 to 450 watts ish, or oh, 468. But you know, sat around that zone of like VO2 max, knowing that I can probably do that for five minutes or so. But that's I can do it for five minutes or so fresh. Like I can't do it again and again and again. But um, yeah, so my heart rate there is not accurate. I'm not doing 123 beats a minute. It does pick up halfway up this climb and go up to like 160 or something. So. This is why I said I've got mixed emotions about tonight's ride because, like, the numbers are okay. Like, I'm I'm not at my best, but I'm not a million miles away. And sitting here, at, you know, over 400 watts for here we go, 100 heart rate's 158 now. Yeah, 430 watts ish for a couple of minutes. I'm pretty happy with that. But the reality is that I'm just too heavy. I just lose ground to these people. So here, they're doing less watts than me because I'm heavier than than anybody there. Uh, they're probably doing similar watt watts per kilo because, of course, we're going up a hill, but when you're leaner, I suppose it's easier to put out more watts per kilo. But um, yeah, so I want to dig into like 480 here just to hang on to the wheel. So that's not you know, far from ideal. I'm actually going around Saxby a little bit here. I don't think I actually get round. Yeah, so Dean has obviously pushed hard on the front. He's pulled us all the way up there. And now he's obviously feeling that a little bit. But we are doing 470 watts. So uh, unless you're absolutely flogging it, there's no way you're going you're gonna to sit on. But yeah, that, that climb is a bit, a bit of me, that. Just settling into a hard tempo, not having to dig absolutely too deep but still not not going not going easy that's sort of a place i not like to be but um perform okay at. and that was near off my max heart race so that's pretty much much me done uh another hill here as long as i've not replayed these clips so i don't know exactly where we are i think this is quite a bit of punch climb so we're passing here one of the steadier groups so if you're in the south normanton derbyshire area you want to come out on a group ride that are steadier right groups than ours uh so these two were in, were in, a, in a different group they're doing a slightly shorter route so of course we we passed them i think we actually caught come came across them again because they were zigzagging and doing different routes and stuff so there's plenty of different groups with different abilities bit of a dig here what 650 watts and i'm struggling to hold on to james's wheel that james who um did took part in the crit race a few days ago I think we're at the top of that little climb now. Yep, there we go. 167 beats a minute. That's me pretty much maxed out. Another little steep climb. I think this is up into Cripe. So this is where it, I really, really have to dig in because power to weight matters more on steeper climbs than it does on shallower climbs. And to, to stay with these guys here, I'm having to absolutely like push hard and hard. And I could do it for the first few climbs, but I just couldn't do it for the whole thing. So see here, I'm just losing the wheel. I know we're nearly at the top, so I know there's a long descent afterwards, so I don't need to stay on the wheel. Another climb here, I can't remember what this one's called. Uh, but again, pretty pretty steep. So I'm up to nearly 500 watts, just trying to just trying to hold on. Now, um, yeah, there we go, it's not riding away from me. Now, I stayed with the, the lads on the shorter climbs. I was finding that I could, you know, two to three minutes, I can sort of just put more power out, just push a little bit harder. And I can stay vaguely with the group, but on the longer climbs that were like five minutes plus, I really get found out. It just I just cannot hold that that high intensity required to sit with the, with the guys, and they're probably putting out less, hang on, less power, but similar watts per kilo. But it might be less intense for them. I just need to get his weight gone, and it is going the, it is going the right way. I don't want to sit here and whinge about it and say I'm not doing anything about it. Uh, it is going the right way, it absolutely is, but. It's just a long process, isn't it? It doesn't happen overnight. So there we go. That's a common occurrence. The lad's pulling away from me. But it's not all It's not all climbing. We have some nice descents as well. So you can see here, we're whizzing down this road. Um, I haven't got speed on my Wahoo. I think that's to stop me scaring myself more than anything. But um, I think uh, we hit like 40 miles an hour several times. But it's also, we've got to be careful not to get wiped out. I think up here, there's a, a row of parked cars on the right. Then a car's coming up. So it is the cars give way. But of course, we're, we're flying down the hill. So you probably didn't see us and whatever so uh, yeah you've got to keep got to keep your wits about you what's the next climb 
Yeah, so uh, what's this called? I can't remember. But anyway, when you turn off the road like this and you see the road going up, like you know what's happening. So I'm like straight down to the little ring, straight down to first gear. Like I know what is going to happen. Um, a Wahoo popped up some sort of segment that was actually the other way, but it, it figures it out in a minute. Now I know that this climb is pretty long, so the group quickly pull away. And to be honest, I, my heart's not in it. Like I'm doing like 350 watts and they're riding away from me. And I know to close that gap, I'm going to have to put in, what, 450 plus? And with it being a long climb, there's just no way I'd hold on. So I just sat in my own tempo. Another nice little descent here. I should have perhaps ang angled the camera a little bit further up. I think it was tilting down with the bumps. Yeah, but just a real nice, real nice cycling area. It isn't very warm. It's about six degrees or seven degrees. So when it's warm, it'll be nicer, I think. But um, yeah, another little punchy climb here. Seven hundred watts. So, can we just write that down? I was doing seven hundred watts, and Dean comes flying past me. Great riding, Dean. Dean is coming to the next crit we're doing. So there's our there's our protected sprinter. But I know that I don't have to get to the front of the group. If I can just hang on to one or two people, then I'm there or thereabouts. I think this one's hinder snitch. Now again, this is quite a long climb, so. I know that I can't go too hard too soon because it's a long way. So I'm sitting here thinking, okay, I'll try and hold the wheel, try and hold the wheel. 400-ish watts. I know this is too hard for me to go for a long time. I was thinking it was going to be five or six minutes climb. I could probably do 450 for five minutes like once, <laughs> but I can't do it. This is towards the end of the ride. Uh, and as they're pulling away from me, I'll drop down to around threshold, thinking, okay, I'll hold around threshold. And the guys are coming past me. And I'm like, okay, you know, just it's fine. Just hold my own tempo. And then... I can see, you know, that that doesn't look like I'm getting past fast, but I actually am. That is a massive amount of like distance to lose over, over the length of the climb. If you add that there in 10 seconds, I've lost probably three or four meters. It's it, it's huge. And there we go, Dean coming past me as well. And it's not like he's just creeping past. That is, that is significant. So I'm sitting around threshold thinking, well, I know I can hold threshold up this climb. I'll try and just mitigate the loss, but um, I think it's happens in a minute. The lads just slowly pull away. And I lose, like, I lose the will, like, you know, psychologically, I can't push myself hard if I know I'm going to get a dropped anyway. I sort of just think, well, I might as well sit up and just ease up a bit because if they're waiting for me for 30 seconds, I might as well wait for me for, for 50 seconds. Like, it, it doesn't make much difference, but um, I'm still giving it a good go here. So you have to see, for, you know, 440 watts ish. it's not like I'm completely set up, but I think this bit was so steep that I couldn't do any less power than that. I just keep moving. Um, and then, as you can see, they're, they're just pulling and pulling away. And before you know it, they're well out of touch. Uh, they're certainly not in conversation distance. I think here, I just sort of think, okay, I'm going to try and conserve myself a little bit down to 360, now 350. It just just tails off. I think I sit about 330 watts of this climb. But it's hard to push yourself when you know that you're not going to be with the group. But I will keep coming, uh, keep pushing myself. There are steadier groups that I could go in. Uh, and I even said to these, you know, if I drop off again, just let me fall back to the next group or something. But um, of course, they wouldn't let me have that easy way out. Um, but uh, you know, you only, you only get better by pushing yourself, don't you? So that's what I'm going to continue to do. So thank you very much for watching. If you haven't already, please hit the subscribe button down below. There's plenty more climbing, and hopefully, I'll be able to put the camera on the back of my bike at some point this year. And uh, I'll see you tomorrow at 4 p.m. Later's.